don't know. When I see a pair of Crocs, to me, it's like the opposite of the bat signal. It's like, don't come save me. I'm already dead. <laughs> I am a little bit addicted to weed just to go to sleep at night, I realized. I don't know if anyone needs weed to turn off their consciousness, but I haven't slept raw in years. <laughs> Whenever I try to sleep without weed, I just wake up in the middle of the night with some fucked up thought, like, oh, I've never cried tears of joy before. <laughs> Is that odd? So the weed turns all, all that off, that's good. And I need to sleep, so I need the weed. I love sleep too much. Do you guys love sleep? Uh, oh, it's the best. I love sleep so much that I wish I could be awake for it in a minute. I do like weed. Um, I grew up in a Muslim family, so it was even harder to get away with smoking weed then. I had to like hide it. It's very hard to be a good Muslim when you're a stoner. Um, <laughs> You can't be high and on time five times a day. <laughs> Have you ever tried to find the direction of Mecca while you're high? <laughs> I'd just be like, I don't know, I feel like it's all around us. Uh, I would like to be more religious. I just, I guess what bothers me the most is just, why is God playing coy, right? Why all the guessing games? If God is real, why don't they just say so? Then we can all be good people. And that's why I think God is probably a woman. <laughs> and Judgment Day is kind of like God's birthday. <laughs> so you die and show up at the pearly gates like, oh, well, you didn't say anything, so I didn't do anything for you. And God's like, <laughs> Well, why do I have to say anything? You should just know. <laughs> and you're like, yeah, but if you had just said something, I would have come prepared. We'd both be happy right now. And God's like, ah, no, go to hell. <laughs> you meet a lot of weirdos trying to find love. You know, they're out there. I went on a date with a guy who could just flip everything I said into something sexual. I'm sure you have friends like that. He was like, what kind of music do you like? I was like, oh, I've been listening to the Beatles. I know that's lame, but I think they're cool. And his eyes lit up, and I thought we were gonna connect, but he goes, what Beatles song would you fuck me to? <laughs> I was like, oh, um, help. <laughs> It won't be long. <laughs> Probably not come together. <laughs> Here's my ideal wedding, okay. We say our vows at the altar, we put the rings on. Next step, I take out the razor. I fold it up in an American flag. <laughs> You've done your duty to the patriarchy, thank you very much. <laughs> now I'm free, right? That's how it should be. I only have one female friend who's married and I started getting freaked out because one day she started complaining about waxing down there, could you imagine? And I was confused, not only because she's already married, but also because she wears Crocs. <laughs> it's like, if you wanna give up, just give up. <laughs> what is this one foot in, one foot out? of caring about yourself. Both feet have Crocs on, just let it go. I'm sorry if I'm offending the Croc demographic. You all seem to have self-respect. Uh, it's also weird to think that there was a slogan for 9-11. <laughs> that didn't just happen organically. It didn't just start appearing everywhere. There had to be like a marketing meeting, right? I just like to imagine that meeting with like politicians and marketing people and one marketer is like, okay, I think I got it. 9-11, never forget. And that crushes, right? <laughs> Everyone's like, that's good. That's somber, that's timeless, that's respectful. 
fits on a toy NASCAR model car. <laughs> which is an item currently in the 9-11 gift shop I checked. <laughs> They're like, okay, we'll probably go with that, but I don't know, are there any alts? Can we get some alts variations on 9-11 Never Forget? Something similar but different. And someone's like, yeah, how about 9-11 Unforgettable? <laughs> Almost the same. <laughs> but now it kind of sounds like a rave review. <laughs> this is a tragedy, not a tour de force performance. And then some firefighter is like, how about 9-11, don't forget about it. <laughs> and the governor's like, uh, could you go back to ground zero, please? <laughs> we'll call you a hero, never pay for your healthcare, you get it, right? <laughs> I'm calling attention to the issue. <laughs> I like drinking wine, that's my favorite way to get drunk, but my only problem with wine is I don't know anything about it and I refuse to learn. <laughs> so I'll just go to a store and ask for advice on buying a bottle. And it's like an interview to do that. They ask you so many questions. This man was like, do you have a preference on the origin of the wine? I'm like, no. <laughs> This store is fine. <laughs> it must be weird to believe in God and then get plastic surgery. Because <laughs> presumably you'll die one day and be face to face with God and God will be looking at you like, so you didn't like my work? <laughs> and you have to be like, no, no, I loved it. <laughs> All your other creatures weren't responding to it. <laughs> but my soul is still good, right? Like my inner soul can still get into heaven. <laughs> but if I were God, I'd be offended. Like, oh, sorry, no returns without the original packaging, actually. <laughs> like, wow, Jeff Bezos has a better return policy than that. <laughs> well, you can talk to him, he's downstairs. If Amazon buys the special, we'll edit that out. <laughs> you know, it'll be fine. <laughs>